So Kate, Safest Place to Work Awards, uh, Innovation Award winner this year. Fabulous. It's absolutely marvellous that um, as a DHB, we are leading the way and the, the impact of us and what we've been doing has been fantastic for us as an organisation and for our contractors that have been involved so far. It's, it's just great recognition for all the, the work that the health and safety team have done here. Mm. Um, and it's great that the contractors have been, after a bit of scepticism, really involved, really engaged in this process. And they can see real value in using the Safe365 tool for themselves as an organisation. Mm. So, you know, when we started on this journey, um, we didn't have anything. Um, and I think for us just trying and this tool, the Safe365 assessment tool, really gave us as an organisation a view of what our health and safety capability was and for us we needed to be sure that our contractors also had that same emphasis on building culture and capability. What we've seen in the past with you know, site safe or prequal is their tick boxes, their tick box exercises and tools, and they weren't providing the value that we wanted or I think our contractors needed. Um, so Safe365 has been really useful um, and has been really positive for a number of our contractors who've taken it up. Uh, and I see um, a couple of those contractors in your supply chain were also finalists in, in the Safest Place to Work Awards this year. Fantastic mm. result for Tour Free, and it was great to see Falcon Electrical, Higgins, and uh, Tyfenoa um, all be finalists in their categories. And for Tour Free to, to take out the, the Supreme Award was just a, a fantastic um, celebration for them as an organisation. Um, and I think it proves from a contractor perspective how useful the tool is for their own business. Yes, um, for us as the PCBU, we have that overlapping responsibility um, with our, con our contractors, but, but having them win that award just proves that it's not just about what we need, it's actually beneficial for our contractors. So tell us a wee bit about your philosophy from, um, it's quite a, a step change away from what's happened in the past with, with principals um, trying to get some degree of line of sight on, on their contractors mm. uh, and so the, the historical way of, of managing those contractors. Tell us a wee bit about the philosophy as to why you actually wanted to do something fundamentally different. Well, it is fundamentally different and that's what we're about here at the DHB. We want to do stuff that's different and is fundamentally different. And I think there's lots of um, tools or lots of prequal or lots of, you know, checklists that contractors can do to, to apparently prove that they've got um, good health and safety. But that wasn't what we, we wanted. We actually wanted to understand the culture and capability within those organisations. We have a relationship with those people. They come on our site. We're dealing with um, patient safety. We've got staff safety requirements as well. And it's not good enough from our perspective for them to just tick a box. The Safe365 tool actually proves to us and gives us visibility that they are actually got the right culture and capability and we can see it over a continued period of time. It's not just a snapshot in time, which a lot of these instruments or tools are, it's actually about continuous improvement and that's, you know, for us, one of our key values is Arkina, which is all about continuous improvement and that's why we want to be different, that's why we want to do something that's fundamentally different to what other DHBs are doing or other organisations are doing. It's interesting because we, we have a number of DHBs now using uh, our product but uh, I'd have to say that, that, that you guys were, were the first um, to start using it over, oh gee, it must have been 16, 17 months ago yeah. now. And uh, you've really led the way in terms of, on not just um, the health sector, but other sectors as mm -hmm. well, in terms of having the courage to do something different and dare to do something different. Yeah. Um, how did the board um, and the executive team receive um, uh, the news that you, you had actually picked up the Innovation Award? Because it was something you, you were, I think, probably weren't expecting. No, I wasn't expecting it at all and, and I think it just the the board and the executive team was so pleased that, you know, from their leadership and you know, it was I think it was 
a challenge for them to think about health and safety differently. You know, we've been developing our health and safety strategy, the first that we've had, uh, really do well documented and endorsed by the board mm. and the executive team. And this was a key component of it. So to actually be recognized nationally at the awards for this innovation and leadership and to be leading the 20 DHBs in this space was fantastic um, and they were really really pleased um, and obviously um, uh, the board uh, FRAC our finance risk and audit committee um, chuffed a bit um, mm. health and safety team the contracts team that were involved so it's great for that recognition of those teams as well that have put in the hard yards to get us to where we are now so putting this into your contractor supply chain yeah um, how easy or difficult was it for you to to initiate that process and get some traction and has it been uh, plain sailing no it's definitely not been plain sailing um, I think we um, when we did our first pilot we did a pilot with around 10 of our contractors and some of them really jumped on board and there were some that were pretty slow on the uptake I think there was a little bit of pushback because people were going well what's this we do prequal we do site safe what's the difference um, and then I think we got some momentum with some of our big players so we we do big construction um, on our site and it's it's predominantly in very small tight spaces and mm. as a consequence we've got to make sure that these building companies are really um, strong in their health and safety culture and capability so once we got a few on board we seem to gather a little bit of a momentum I think there's still a little skepticism I still think there's a little bit of a pushback but I think having won this award um, having um, a number of Hawke's Bay contractors being recognised and obviously for Turfree um, winning the award, I think that will also help to sort of engage and get more of our contractors on side because it's not just about the, the value for us, it's actually the value for those contractors so that they can go out and compete in the marketplace, they've got this, um, you know, safety index on on their health and safety culture and capability. It's a real positive for them. So I think it's um, still a journey that we're on, but mm. our intention is is that we've rolled it out with the top um, high risk and extreme risk contractors who mm. come on our site. But we have uh, contractors with GP facilities, NGOs, community providers. Mm. Um, third party subcontractors so it's it's actually now starting to think about we really need to roll it out through the whole of the supply chain to ensure that we're doing what we need to do to keep our patients and our staff safe. I remember the email that you sent through to us oh, six or nine months ago um, from one of your uh, contractors and it sort of went along the lines of initially uh, we were a bit miffed and um, Oh, not another one of those things to, to complete mm -hmm. uh, to, to make sure we get the work. Uh, and then they went on to mention how excited they were about actually the product and how they could use it on their own business. Yeah. But not only on, on their own business, but also for other bits of work that they're actually pitching for. And they, they got pretty excited about that. Yeah, absolutely. And and I think that's that's what we need to create in, in with our contractors is that excitement and for them to be able to see the value that it has for them. Mm. It's not just about value for us. This tool will actually give them a huge amount of resources so that they can improve continually their, their health and safety culture and capability. It's a fantastic opportunity for them. It's not a cost. This is about adding value to, to a business, mm. whether it's us as a DHB or as um, contractors who work with us. Congratulations um, on the Innovation Award. Uh, well received uh, by a number of other people who have, have mentioned to us um, uh, what you've been doing. Um, and congratulations to you and the team. Uh, you, you've done an awesome job. You're, you're challenging the status quo and, and daring to be different. Um, congratulations. Thank you. It's great. SAFE 365, intelligent health and safety software for business.